My name is Gavin Willard. I am the owner, along with my wife, of Charlie's Collector's Corner. Uh, we've owned it for about six years now. But this was our comic shop, always growing up and coming to shopping back in the day. Uh, my name is Brett Reedy. Uh, I've been working for Retardies only for a couple months, actually. Um, but I have been friends with uh, Gavin and Deanna for going on eight years, maybe nine. Um, actually, not only friends with them, but uh, Targis is actually one of the first comic shops that I came to when I was old enough to drive. So I've actually been friends, uh, classmates, and uh, roommates with Gavin and Deanna since, uh, since we graduated high school. And uh, we would all come up here together, usually on Thursdays, pick up our books. We were always big fans, great friends. Um, they brought me on once they were able to bring on more employees, and it's been a dream come true. So with the pandemic, it was um, scary. Uh, we took very, very little time off. There was a lot of people that kind of took the time and rediscovered things. We were paranoid that we didn't know how long this was going to last, so we dove deep and hard on what we could do here. Uh, I did daily videos. Um, every single day of the week I would come in. Uh, we were here every single day. Um, and then every day of the week I would do a Facebook Live video and just interact with people that are at home, show off the stuff that we're working on in the store. We did. Um, we had a couple people donate art pieces to, to auction off to help the store. We have an insanely amazing customer base because they would buy gift cards, they would give us their pull lists, they would give us things that they're looking for that they haven't had a chance to dig for. Hey, if you find this, I will totally buy it from you. And so we had a ton of customers come to our rescue and just make sure that we were doing all right. Even, even with the pandemic being a problem, I mean, things definitely got harder and things slowed down for us a little bit. But I think with kind of the, not just the media, but you know, all the movies and everything that they're doing and trying to kind of get the word out to in, in every kind of outlet that they can think of, of hey, we're trying to make money off from obviously you know, Marvel and DC doing movies and stuff, but also it kind of trickles down to, hey, comic shops, that's where you're gonna go to find more information about all the characters you like. So even during the pandemic, like I know Gavin and Abby probably both touched on, they were hopping in here because um, they were closed down. You know, they weren't essential according to the government, unfortunately. A lot of people, a lot of people like myself, kind of thought differently. Like I think this is kind of essential just to keep your brain active. You know, like not everybody has a good friend network, and a lot of times comics and toys will replace that a little bit. But then you still have the people that you can talk to about the comics and the toys that also kind of help bring you back to normal. You know, so. Oh boy. So really, what's really doing it and kind of in spite of it really is you know the TV shows the movies the fandom um, just the excitement behind it just the passion um, for us it's, it's very much you know we still like to have our hands on that paper we like to smell the books we like to actually see and touch the things and I don't know it's just it's almost like in spite of it it's it's thriving I mean this place has been uh, part of my life for 20 something years now we would come here uh, and pick up our books every single week and shop the bins and um, basically uh, we would come and shop here when we were uh, very budding fans into the industry or into the into the uh, collecting uh, all the way into supporting us when we were really really into it and then into for a foraying into our job and our livelihood and our dream because this is what we've always wanted to do um, uh, it's great I mean it's it's everything it's family, it's uh, entertainment, it's uh, it's more home than home sometimes. Uh, for fear of sounding sappy, but yeah, it's kind of kind of family. Um, I run into a lot of people in here that I have seen in shows or maybe bumped into out and about in the neighborhood that I like. Kinda, hey, do I know? And then come in here and and suddenly we have a bond. Like, oh hey, I did see you at that one show, didn't I? Yeah, you. You come in here too? Yeah, me too. Cool. And it's it's it gives you that sense of kind of brotherhood and sisterhood with everybody just to be able to have kind of a spot. You know, and I've been to a couple other comic shops that weren't bad shops, but they didn't have the feel of like 
the neighborhood and, and the feel of family. You just kind of had the feel of, here's some cool stuff, but once you get it, move on. Tardies is everything. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been our home shop since we got up here, since, you know, since we came to Grand Rapids, period. It's been a home away from home. It's been keeping a legacy going. It's keeping a passion going. It's a dream.